There you are, Fei Shao. Madam Yukong! After 30 years, we find ourselves fighting side by side once more. It's been a while since I've let loose. Let's get this started. Remember, you are still on the Law Fu. Try not to go too wild. Let's see. Short respite, then time for the next fight. We have cleared out the enemies in Starskiff Haven. But it seems that there are fierce battles being waged at both the Exalting Sanctum and Arum Alley. I will prepare a Starskiff. We cannot allow the fighting to continue. This is now a race against time to stop this farce that Hule has created. I know Zhao Cho always wants me to know my limits and not get carried away, but now is the time to bring this to a swift end. Contact the Exalting Sanctum. Tell them if they see a light in the sky, all units are to retreat immediately. Madam Yukong, lend me your bow! What's that? Everyone, out of the way! I just knew it would end up this way. Every time she hits the battlefield, she makes a mess like this. She didn't even leave a single survivor to get intel from. One of these men must have known about Hule and Zhao Cho's whereabouts. was one of Fei Shao's arrows. Who knows what she used as an arrow to fire all the way over here. Take a good look around. If you can find one or two Borisin that aren't dead yet, let me know. I don't care how tight their lips are sealed. I always have a way to crack them open and get the information we need. Will of preservation! Make a wish.
What a terrifying attack. Who could have imagined that such astonishing strength would lie in the hands of a Foxian war slave? So decisive, so brutal. She is more like a descendant of Duran than we who have fallen to our current state. No wonder the warhead has his eyes on her. I remember you, Mok Talk. You are harder to kill than a cockroach. But the fact that you have willingly shown yourself saves us some time. It is not too late for you to surrender. Tell me, where are Hule and Zhao Cho? <laughs> Save your energy, Yao Ching monkey. If there is one principle that we beasts know well, it is that we might have to break off an arm to break free from a cage. Today, I will be that arm. I lived as a hunter for many years. Yet I have only followed the warhead for this recent, brief period. However, his existence has brought light back to our once blind eyes. Like the moon of Verdantia. He has shown me the way. The descendants of Duran have abandoned the wolf's creed. In order to ensure our survival, we took solace in the shadows and fed on one another. We were no longer wolves. We were no more than rats, living a dirty and pathetic life. Thanks to the gift granted to us by Lord Hule, I have shared his vision and his blood. The descendants of Duran should live for the victory of the pack, and they should die for it as well. Come, the Ching Man. Show me your fangs. We will fight to the death. Puh. How honorable. You mangy dog. But you seem to have misunderstood. There will be no fair one-on-one -on -one duel. Let's see how tough you are once we've put you down. It boils in my veins. Blood live, Hule! The Morrison Resurgence is at hand! The Morrison Resurgence? You think you can still pillage and murder freely as you did a thousand years before? I pay you to stand still. The Xianzhou Yao Ching will ensure that this is nothing more than your dying fantasy! Good times we'll find you. never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Fight me! Things straight like this will send me running! Memories are ever changing. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss! I'll kiss your eye! Happy New Year! I must. Say bye to breathing. Hold on! and resurgence shall come.
No matter how heroic your sacrifice, there is no honor in your battles or deaths, Borison. It seems that Mock Talk got what he wished for. Hule, your declaration of war is over. From now on, no matter where you run, General Fei Shao will catch you and send you to the same fate as Mock Talk. <laughs> oh, your tongue is sharper than your claws. Don't stand in my way, child. Have your general speak with me. A little hunting game is not over yet. Stand down, Waltza. I am here, Hule. What do you wish to say? The Merlin's Claw. <laughs> Though we have never met on the battlefield, I have heard many interesting things about you, from both my men and your healer. <sighs> the people of the Simjo must be quite brave, to allow a foxy and war slave with boars and blood to ascend to the position of general. Has no one ever questioned that lineage of yours? Or could it be that your grand achievements were enough to convince everyone to keep their lips sealed? Claiming to have family ties with the enemy sounds to me like an attempt at asking for mercy. Hule, are you begging me for mercy? I see that it is not only the ruthless blood of a wolf that courses through your veins, but also the cunning blood of a fox. When you think about it, this was a gift from the Borson. Anything that we gift, we are also free to reclaim. The Merlin's Claw. I shall extend a final invitation to you. I will be waiting for you on the Sky Splitter. Before you arrive, I will slaughter all in sight, allowing the crimson moon that has fallen dim for over 700 years to once more come to life. I will illuminate this ship with the sheen of blood and show everyone just how weak and powerless the Xiangzhou is. Then I will pilot this ship through every blockade and barrier you have prepared and begin my journey home. This ship shall be the flagship for the Borison Resurgence! Before I finish these tasks of mine, you have a chance to stop me or die at my hands. <laughs> this is the path that I have prepared for you. I accept your challenge, Hule. Because the very moment you stepped aboard the Sky Splitter, you stepped onto your path to ruin. <laughs> <laughs>